Uh, this exhibition titled Transformation and uh, um, the subject is and, uh, it's, uh, quite actively and uh, related to an uh, current and uh, uh, political social climate. So, and uh, um, for you, and what a trans transformation means, and also how your work related to a transformation. Mm, well, transformation for me is the future crashing inevitably towards us. <laughs> It is the unstoppable change that we can do nothing about. I mean, most of my work deals with this idea of um, the transient, the change, the thing, this unobtainable now that, that moves every second and every second. And a lot of my work is painting. And in my paintings, you know, in, in some way, I'm trying to grasp now, the present, forever. But of course, it's impossible. Things keep moving and moving and moving. The film that, that's showing here for this uh, transformation exhibition, which I couldn't be more happy to be invited, thank you very much, <laughs> um, is, um, is uh, I filmed a tiger, a Bengal tiger. Um, uh, I filmed it in England. Uh, we filmed it in a black studio, uh, very simple, and the tigers were ex-circus performers. Mm -hmm. And um, the tiger you know, walks around the viewer on four screens. Mm -hmm and stares at you as if you are the, in the cage and the tiger is looking at you. Um, the, the idea of the uh, subject matter, you know, a tiger is an endangered species. The Bengal tiger, there's maybe only 2,000 left in the wild, so it's a very endangered species. And um, the tiger is such a great symbol of sort of beauty and loss and, and change, of course, um, in that we, Look at the tiger, it's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing to look at. It's an inspiring, mm -hmm. you know, powerful creature. But the irony is, there's not many left. They're dying. Mm -hmm. And here we are looking at this tiger on, on, on video. Mm -hmm. But um, it's there for our entertainment. And, you know, that's, that's uh, quite a sad place to be. The tiger should be in the jungle. But now it's on video for us, mm -hmm. you know, to watch. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, a, a symbol of um, a, maybe a negative change or a, a symbol of civilization, the result of civilization, it's this loss of environment, this loss of nature, this loss of beauty. Um, so, uh, the, and of course, the other thing is that it's a, a circus tiger, so it was a performing animal, mm -hmm. and again, performing for our amusement. So, there's a lot of tragedy in there, mm -hmm. and along with the soundtrack, which is a Polish composer's. Um, sort of a remembrance soundtrack for Holocaust survivors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is all about humanity's um, uh, poor record mm -hmm. of, um, you know, of, of, of love in many mm -hmm. ways. So it's a long and complicated um, story about change and. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, it is, of course, about beauty. Um, and there are many other levels underneath that, that sort of sadness to mm -hmm. the story of circuses, of, of, especially in the 19th century, about histories of um, human um, communities coming together to view spectacles. There's a number of other things involved in there, mm -hmm. but, but all this information is contained in a very simple image mm -hmm. of a tiger staring at you staring into your soul. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, and, uh, um, if we just uh, um, impose an, uh, kind, of, kind of the institutional kind of ideas and uh, uh, who is watched and who is a watcher, so something like that, so in a kind of structure and like a prison or, you know, and, uh, like a menu seats and a circus, mm -hmm. but definitely and, uh, now it's a tiger salon us and uh, we are the, the watching because and also John Berger is writing about a very interesting and uh, book and uh, the essay at uh, the, the animal's gaze mm -hmm. yeah for me it's, and, uh, it's quite interesting so and uh, interrelated to your work also yeah I think gaze, yeah. yeah I think it's um it's a very interesting thing to be confronted by the victim of mm -hmm. civilization mm -hmm. something that we you know, is, is so beautiful that yet so rare mm -hmm. and so tragic and now you have to stare at it and um, mm -hmm. many film people, uh, when we originally showed the um, film in uh, Hong Kong, 
Uh, it's a very large black space, mm -hmm. so the screens were quite enormous, mm -hmm. and it was very confronting, and people were really quite um, yeah. moved to tears watching yes. watching the film. Yeah. Um, so that was a very uh, good result of that of that project. Okay. Um, so I just uh, do the second question. Sure. And, uh, the second question is and. Uh, uh, if you have a second life after you died, and if you have another life, and what you want to be? Oh, not I'm not either. sure. <laughs> either a butterfly, oh, nice. you know, fleeting mm -hmm. and but beautiful, or maybe mm, one of a big whale that mm -hmm. has an extremely long life mm -hmm. and that circles the oceans. Mm -hmm. One or the other, either fast. Or forever. <laughs> uh -huh. That's interesting. Okay. And uh, um, what I say is, uh, um, now is everything very much changing in a very transitional time, and, uh, and within the kind of this kind of climate and economical and uh, situation. So under this kind of climate, and uh, I just to curate, make uh, this exhibition, also and. Uh, uh, showing uh, the piece, including your piece, to the audiences, and uh, um, if you have any kind of message and uh, to the audiences, and uh, through this ex exhibition, or you observing on the current situation, to the audiences. Well, I think the truth is, yeah. we're always in times of transition. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think you feel the transition more acutely in the twenty first century because communication is so mm -hmm. advanced, and it is so accessible and our world becomes smaller, and we become more and more connected. Um, and, you know, with this enormous population, that's an intimidating uh, uh, time to be. But at the same time, it's a wonderful thing. That connectivity is also a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. When one realizes, for all our differences, mm -hmm. and all our uh, individuality, we're also incredibly connected, that we all feel love, and fear, and insecurity, and hope. Mm -hmm. and. So I say the message is that, yes, for, for this dramatic time of change, um, uh, as, uh, you know, as scary as it is, it's also wonderful mm -hmm. that this will bring people, that it brings people together, mm -hmm. that change is what moves civilization forward, mm -hmm. hopefully. So, uh, you know, it's all good.